In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve motion word problems with integrals. This is question three. The question reads, a flywheel in a machine starts from rest and accelerates at 3.85 t radians per second squared. Find the angular velocity and the total number of revolutions after 10 seconds. To do this, we'll need to use the following two relationships, where the angular velocity represented by this Greek letter omega is equal to the integral of the angular acceleration represented by alpha dt. So the first step is to take the integral of this function 3.85t and that will give me my angular velocity. Once I find my angular velocity, the function, I'll set angular velocity equal to zero and t is equal to zero because we're starting from rest and this will enable me to find my constant. Let's do step one first and I'll show you what I mean next. So I'll take the integral of 3.85t and that will represent my angular velocity. Finding the integral of this term isn't hard. We have an exponent of one here so we're going to add one to that exponent giving us t to the power of two and we'll divide 3.85t to the power of two by two. This gives us omega is equal to 3.85t to the power of two over two plus our arbitrary constant c. Now we're told that it starts from rest, so that means t is at zero. And also the velocity has to be at zero because it's starting from scratch, from zero. So I'm going to set omega equal to zero and t is equal to zero. This gives me the following. Zero is equal to 3.85 times zero to the power of two, that's zero, plus c, my constant, here is c. Next what I'll do is I'll take the integral of 3.85t to the power of 2 over 2 and this will give me the angular displacement function and that relationship is shown right here. So angular displacement is represented by theta is equal to the integral of 3.85t squared over 2 dt. To find the integral of this it's not hard. Once again I'll add 1 to the exponent and this sum, which is 3, I'll divide the whole function by, giving me theta is equal to 3.85t to the power of 3 over 6 plus c, our constant. Once again, using the same premise as before, it's starting at rest, so t is equal to 0, and theta is also equal to 0. This gives me 0 is equal to 3.85 times 0 to the power of 3, that's 0. Our constant is c, therefore our angular displacement formula is theta is equal to 3.85 divided by 6 t to the power of 3. The last part of this question asks us for the total number of revolutions after 10 seconds. So what I can do is substitute t is equal to 10 and let's see what we get. 3.85 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 6 and this gives me 641.6 641.6 or simply 642 radians. The question asks for revolutions so I have to convert from radians to revolutions and that's not hard to do. The conversion ratio to convert from radians to revolutions is the following for every two pi radians, you get one revolution. So I'm going to take 642 radians and multiply it by two pi radians at the bottom and one revolution at the top. This way, the units cancel out, leaving us with this number divided by two pi, and we get 102 revolutions. 102 revolutions. And so there you have it. That is how to solve motion word problems with integrals.